Ho, it's RDO. I think I said something before about interviewing your deck. This is just its case. All my decks I get uh, silk cases for because you're supposed to wrap your tarot deck in silk. Um, and then I sent them with different oils. I take good care of my cards. And they all have certain crystals down in with them. But this is my newest deck. Um, and I have not interviewed it yet. So that is what we're going to do. And you can, I can't remember where I got this. I mean, I would give credit where credit is due, but I do not remember. And if it's yours, put it on the comments and I will go on and on about it in an episode because I really do love this. This idea of interviewing your deck when it's brand new. Because you got to get to know each other. Okay, so the first question. Oh, well, I think I'm just going to lay these out all at once. Number one is tell me about yourself. What is your most important characteristic? So tell me about yourself. What is your number one characteristic? Number one, just one, number one characteristic. Oh my goodness. Okay, number two, what are your strengths as a deck? As a deck, what do you feel your strengths are? Number three, what are your limits as a deck? I guess that would be uh, what you're not willing to talk about, what you don't like reading for, what answers you don't like to give, what are your limits? I mean, what? Number four question, what are you here to teach me? Because you know they're here to teach us something. That's one, two, three. Tell me about yourself. What are your strengths? What are your limits? And number four now. What are you here to teach me? About tarot, I assume. Maybe you're here to teach me something about life. I don't know. Okay. Oh, that's two, so let's make this four. Five. Five is how can I best learn to collaborate with you? But I assume the cards, when you do a layout, it becomes more embedded in the social conscious. That's why I like using the Celtic cross because it's been used for hundreds of years. So what the cards mean and it, in which position, they already know. The cards already know from the social consciousness of having used it for so many years. And this one, I don't know how many years it's been used, but I've used it quite a few times. So my conscious, conscience, conscious, my conscious knows what each of the questions are going to be. What is the potential outcome of our relationship? Oh, I hope it's a good one. Potential outcome of our relationship. What is the potential outcome of our relationship? I had one tell me we're just going to have a business relationship. did a follow-up card and it turned out that it was just shy and that actually we were going to love each other like family. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What's the potential outcome of our relationship? Ooh, I'm going to take the one over here because it flew out and then these just fell out. And then the final question, what is the potential outcome of our working relationship? Like, are we going to be good together? Are we going to get some good answers for people? Good Lord, I hope the answer is yes. The, well, this is just the potential outcome, the potential outcome of our business relationship. Number 
or so. Okay. Now I can just throw a couple into here. Just that has a little couple of little stuff on it. This is gold. Um, all right. Tell me about yourself. What is your most important characteristic? Oh dear, the world reversed. Where's my pen? I need to write this down. reversed world. Your most important characteristic is that you don't tell people when their cycles have closed out. Or, oh, maybe you prefer to uh, just give them more advice to help them finish their phases. That's cool. I mean, that's what you'd rather do. Say that means that you don't get depressed. Give, I mean, what are your strengths? It doesn't get depressed and give you bad news. Sounds like a good one to me. It's good too because I do get depressed. I get super duper depressed for very long periods of time. Miserable. All right, and what's this one? What are your limits as a deck? Reversed. Your wand's reversed. So the King of Wands knows how to get stuff started, knows how to get an idea going, keep it going, keep it burning, keep it alive, knows how to start the fire and feed it correctly, and also when to keep it small. King of Wands knows how to control passion, and they're passionate. All the wands are very passionate. He knows how to control that. So that is your limit as a deck. King of Wands reversed. Oh, so you can't control your excitement. All right. What are you here to teach me? Oh, five of swords. When I see a five of swords, I just see a game that got out of hand. It's not like they were really fighting because, I mean, these guys are just walking away. He's not trying to chase them or anything. He took the swords and he's like, just, I win the game. And who knows what kind of game it is. I mean, there's water back here, which is another thing. There's wands back here, which is things around there. There's swords, which I thought. Hmm. So yes, I'm going to say you're here to teach me to be a better winner, maybe? Okay. I'll take criticism. Wow. How can I best learn to collaborate with you? Well, this 
going to collaborate with you by having good emotional ideas. You're an emotional deck. Is that what you're saying? So, if I take the emotions of the cards, rather than just their straight answer, but how they make me feel emotionally, that's how we're best going to collaborate. Now let's see if that changes how I will answer number six, which is the outcome of our relationship. Party time! Yes, we're going to have a great relationship. Oh, see, you just told me to take it on a, on a emotional matter, but I mean, this is pretty emotional. That's happy. They're celebrating. Our outcome of, of our relationship outcome is going to be great. So we have something to celebrate. Yeah, the outcome of the three. Magical gold deck. And finally, what's the potential outcome of, of our working relationship? Oh dear. Now you said take it emotionally, not straight as the picture goes or the meaning goes. So this makes me feel kind of tired. I'm standing here with these sticks, waiting to find out what's going on. Here we go. Yeah, so I feel kind of impatient and tired. Is that what our working relationship is going to be? Because I'm going to have to figure out the emotional feeling of every card. That sounds correct. Exhausted, and what else did I say? Aggravated. Um, poor. Waiting for us to finally click, I think. I mean, I take care of all my deck card decks of cards. They all have their own little cases. I play with them all every day. Um, they all have their scent. They all have their crystals. They all get shuffled. If nothing else, they get shuffled every day. This one's new. I wonder what crystals it has, if any yet. Nope, no crystals yet. I have to get some. Damn, my pen. Oh, pyrite. See, I had a big piece of pyrite to go in there. Well, not great big, but a nice chunk of pyrite. And I took them out one day and it flung away, and I have never been able to find it. So I'm thinking what it wants is real gold. I am not so sure about that. I mean, gold's really expensive. And can you just get like a little nugget of gold? I guess I should look into it. All right. Well, thanks for watching my interview with my new deck. You can do the same. And I'm sorry if I'm hard to hear. I am going to get a microphone one of these days. Have a great one. Bye-bye.